seconds and counting. Hey, what's good, yo? Welcome back to another video. It's Nisha. I'm joining with Drew. And we have some major, major news that just got out. Um, Deshaun Watson will not be indicted with any criminal charges. He will have 22 civil suits, but he will not face any criminal charges accusing him of sexual assault or misconduct. And so this is huge. And um, all the national reporters are reporting that the, the trade the the trade value for Deshaun Watson will skyrocket at this point. And apparently that Deshaun Watson, he still has his no trade clause, but um, interest will come quickly. So, and there's been like a lot of teams that were interested, interested in Deshaun Watson, even before this news, um, like hiring private investigators to see what the situation was like. Uh, but now it's the criminal stuff is done. There's no like gray area on whether or not he will play. Because even despite the civil lawsuit, the civil suits, he'll still play, and so that means like Nick Casario can definitely um, get a huge haul for Deshaun Watson. And um, Patrick Storm told us that the Dolphins are offering up to four firsts with the criminal investigation. So now that the criminal investigation is over, you can expect something like more, like way more value than that, including like two or three players multiple picks like it's the possibilities are endless so drew what are your instant reactions to this news yeah i mean this is massive news uh like you said there's so many teams interested in sean watson you know he does have that no trade clause but i really personally don't think the, the, the no trade clause is going to have much of an impact here you know he really only wanted to go to miami last year but you know, a lot of contenders should be interested i expect like the buccaneers their team is loaded with talent you know, the Steelers were pretty much a quarterback away. They had been all spurs, still made the playoffs, wasn't playing very well. I heard the Saints, you know, one of the teams monitoring him. You know, the Eagles might have interest. Uh, teams like the Giants, but even the Dolphins might still have interest. But the main two teams you're going to have to really look out for here is the Seahawks and the Panthers. The Panthers and their owner seem to really, really want a quarterback. You know, David Tepper is going to aggressively pursue Deshaun Watson. We saw those articles from the, you know, Carolina media people talking about how they're going to give him three first-round picks, multiple players, and the Panthers have very talented players, too. We're talking Brian Burns, Jeremy Chin, J.C. Horn, C.J. Henderson, Derek Brown, all of those guys. Texans could possibly get two of those guys, or they could possibly get, you know, just Brian Burns and maybe a situation like that. He's probably the best player to have the offer. And then you have the Seahawks. The Seahawks just acquired, or the Seahawks just traded away Russell Wilson. And they have an abundance of picks. You know, they probably have, what, you know, five first-round picks, six first-round picks in the next three years. That's absolutely insane. The Texans, if they get into a bidding war, the Seahawks may throw all of those first-round picks at them. Um, they, you know, they do have DK Metcalf. That's a player of subject. People have been talking about possibly Tyler Lockett. Um, so, you know, they can make a move there. They have so many assets. And if, if this situation gets into a bidding war, the Texans will be set up for the future and they will be a team to reckon with within the next two to three years. And they will be set up to win with success with all these picks and players that they could possibly get into Sean Watson's situation. This was truly a win-win situation for Sean Watson in court and for Texans fans and for the future of this team. This is a great day and people should be celebrating. Yeah, and the free agency um, opens like in five more days. And so I would expect a trade to happen within that timeline. And so, yeah, and like you said, the Seahawks and the uh, Panthers definitely like those uh, two teams as far as what they can offer. Um, Commanders, they seem to be really interested in getting a QB. And they did doing they did do that in acquiring Carson Wentz um, for two third-round picks. And so now the Commanders are out of the race. Um, but yeah, like you said, it seems like it's just the Seahawks and the Panthers. But um, like like you said, it could be a bidding war because so many teams have been waiting apparently for this news. And so now that it's out and like now it's finally been announced, it's like um, it's like gonna be a competition on who can get Deshaun Watson. And honestly, like he's probably like so, he's like so valuable in terms of like age, talent. He's already like like. Bias aside, like he's like at least top five 
uh, a top five quarterback in the league and he's only like 25 26 that's easily 10 years of like at least 10 years of court elite quarterback play and as far as his cap hit um in 2022 he has a 35 million dollar cap hit 2023 he has a 37 million dollar cap hit um and then 2024 2025 32 million dollar cap hit so once we trade watson our cap um space is going to rise and if we do um say trade laramie console that's going to increase even more so um this is like giving way for nick nick casero to go crazy in the off season and he's already made some some low-key uh moves um we're gonna make some videos um on that like resigning some players making deals to current texans players so we'll make some videos updating y'all on that um but yeah do you have any final thoughts before we wrap up the video um nothing much just really expect that deal to get done soon and you know we'll see what happens there's gonna be lots of news coming out about teams that are interested teams that sean's interested in, and it's gonna be exciting yeah and stay tuned on the channel to see more about that and that's pretty much it for the video let us know um your thoughts on this news and as always be sure to like subscribe and turn on post notifications thank you all for watching peace